Coach Bear Bryant, he was considered to be one of the greatest college football coaches ever, brought his team together, the Alabama Crimson Tide, when they were on a losing streak, and he said, boys, this is a football. It was time to get back to basics. Like, people say hindsight is 2020. I know a lot of people are looking forward to looking backward in hindsight on 2020. But when I look back, I see God is faithful. When I look ahead, I, I know God is able. I look back in hindsight and I think, wow, he nudged us to get rid of the pews and to get chairs the same month that COVID hit. And so we could socially distance correctly. Um, we were actually considering expanding the building or even looking at a building project so we could get more people into the building. No need for that. So again, God was faithful to, to us at a time when we really needed him. I know he's able to keep us through the future. Long before COVID was even a thing, Gary and I and the staff at CCLF worked tirelessly to, to get people into the building, just to get them here. And you know, that was difficult at the best of times, just because of life, weekend getaways, family, uh, you know, travel, whatever, it was hard to get people here. Yet, God still graced us with growth, numerically speaking. Now, when COVID hit, things changed for everybody all across the country. Attendance went, boom, and then it surged through online viewership. Uh, but then after Easter, it kind of went down again. And again, all across country, 80% of the pastors are saying attendance has declined. I wonder, if COVID has sort of called us out. In a sense, we've always said, church is not a building, it's the people. And COVID has really pushed the envelope on that. Are we being the church that God has called us to be? We know that a crisis accelerates things. People gained new habits really quickly from watching church at home in your PJs and with a copy to not participating at all, not engaging at all. And it's really hard to measure just where people are at in these times. But this is church right now. People don't like it. There's people who tell me, I ain't coming to church because I don't want to register. Or I ain't doing church that way. Well, this is church right now. If I was to tell you that, hey, they made church illegal. We can't gather anymore. They made it illegal. Are you still in? You'd probably say, absolutely, count me in. Hmm, makes you think. I want you to be in right now. <laughs> this fall, we want to facilitate small groups of 10 to 50 people gathering together, whether it's in the church upstairs, downside in the fireside room, over in the rock, or in backyards or people's homes, just getting together more life groups, more lifelines to equip people, to pray for people, to encourage people. We want our people to be the ones stepping up in this community and really making a difference in our neighborhoods rather than just sitting around and waiting for things to get quote unquote back to normal. We also want parents to be equipping their kids. This is what we want to be about this fall. We want to be naturally supernatural. We want to be the church that God has called us to be right now. As a church, we need to gather together and we need to mobilize. This has always been the church's theology right from the beginning. But we haven't always functioned in it well, but now's the time. Now's the time to get in the game. Now's the time to be the church that God has called us to be. Coach Bear Bryant, he said this, God has given me this day to use it as I will. I can waste it or I can use it for good. What's it gonna be? Let's get in the game.